Welcome to Cooking with Chris. Um, we're in a, a shared kitchen. It's in a dorm room at UW called Poplar Hall. And luckily no one's using it, it's just me. There's just this one kitchen for 200 people. <laughs> Right now, I am cooking up a chicken breast. And just slightly seasoned with like salt, pepper, and garlic. Vegetables is artichoke uh, with some mushrooms. Yeah. No. <laughs> I started cooking because uh, I started getting into working out and I realized that 70% of being fit and looking better is a good diet. So um, I decided I gotta cook because I ain't buying Chipotle every day. I ain't trying to eat out every day. So I just researched like basic ways to cook up chicken breast and some vegetables. And from there, I just improvised. What motivated me to get fit is, um, well, I was getting fat. <laughs> uh, yeah, in, in high school and college, I was, uh, I was really into working out. I, was, I, said, I would say I'm pretty fit. And then last year, my third year into college, I realized I wasn't working out and I was just so focused on studying and just stressing out with everything and just eating whatever I want. Uh, I gained a lot of weight and end of spring, I just realized I get tired so easily. I got tired at like 8 p.m. And it wasn't like sleepy tired, it was just like a sluggish tired. So end of spring, I realized I need to change something with my life. And so beginning of summer, I was like, all right, I'm gonna devote myself to working out. I did it for the whole summer and a lot changed. Uh, my body changed, uh, my health changed, and I wouldn't get tired as often. I would wake up happy with myself and with less stress. I started being a summer and I'm still doing it and I feel like I'm not gonna stop for a while. The most difficult thing that I came across while meal prepping and uh, working out is school. Uh, especially, like summer it was easy because I had free time, but now as school starts, I have no time because 80% of my day is just studying and 20% is cooking, uh, working out, but that 20% I'm so tired from that 80% of studying. So I think that's the hardest part, but it still hasn't stopped me. I definitely learned a lot of discipline because um, I wake up at 6.30 in the morning every day to go work out by 7.30. And just doing that every single day, it takes a lot of discipline. Um, and I think that really carried over in uh, just with schoolwork too. Uh, doing schoolwork when I'm supposed to do it, not procrastinating, and being on time on things too. Especially like for me, like going to church, I was always late, always like 10 to 20 minutes late. But now my body naturally wakes up at like 6.30. There's no reason for me to be late. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, just a lot of discipline. Working out and just doing that every day, how it went to my faith. Faith is a working process also, as it's the same as getting trying to get fit with your own body. Getting fit with your faith is like the same thing. Uh, you have to do a certain workout. Like for faith, um, you gotta read the Bible, you gotta pray, like that's the workout for faith. And um, just another thing that I started at the beginning of summer was I'm going to pray and read every day. And I definitely did that every day too. Uh, right after I worked out, I'll go home, eat breakfast, and read. I think just working out just really gave me the heart to put in hard work to my faith also. All the hard work I learned from the uh, 
working out is just really reflected in just how hard I uh, read and how hard I pray. Yeah. It's vegetables. <laughs> what do you expect? I mean, it's alright. It's good. Alright. <sighs> mm. It's not that good. <laughs> it's good, bro. Got some lemon on it. You know? Hey. It smells really good. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah? Uh, you already know it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know.